Welcome to Game Face Southern Division 1 footy show for round six, thanks to Community Bank Caulfield Park. My name is Chelsea Ryan and joining me is Dan Lonigan. G'day Chelsea, it's a great pleasure to have you part of Game Face. I'm here with Talia Clark and Bianca Sand from St Paul's McKinnon's, the women's football team. And not the outcome that you would have wanted today, but what are some of the positives from the game? Yeah, so obviously we didn't get the win today. It wasn't the outcome we wanted, but the girls did such an amazing job. And so Bianca, Izzy did score a goal in the third quarter. The celebrations were great. Yeah. What was it like for the team? It was just amazing to get that first goal to like boost our um, energies up. Coops, congratulations. It's your 50th milestone, the game under Friday Night Lights. What does it feel like? Uh, yeah, it feels pretty good, um, especially seeing as the girls brought home a win. Well, there was a bonus. You were lifted up on the shoulders as you were brought back into the rooms. That's a bit of fun, isn't it? Oh, God, yeah. And so our next game, we had St Kilda City. Welcome back, Brownlow medalist Dane Swan. Welcome to the first edition of Anytime Fitness 5 as we bring to you the top five moments of the Southern Men's Football Competition for Round 8. And number one. Cerberus claims their first win for the season. I'm here with Nikita Miller and Michelle Durant from the South Yarra's women's football team. And it's a really exciting day today because they've scored their first win for the season and first goal as well. How's it feel, Michelle? Take us to the game. It's pretty good. We yeah, got our first goal of the season and then I got the second goal. Footy is you know, more than just what happens on the ground. What does the club mean to you? Oh, I don't even know if I can describe it. I've been here for four years. What's the community like for St Paul's McKinnon's for, you know, the women's football team? Amazing. Our kicking efficiency isn't the best. Um, so our team motto is every point counts. And we had another red hot forward line in the game. Dingley taking a big win over Morty Alec. And he said that gelling as a team was, you know, going to be one of the goals of the season. Yep. What do you think is going to be the focus in training this week? I think getting more girls down to training is a main focus. It's someone's birthday today, I hear. We've got a bit of a shout out or who is it? A very special birthday today. Big 22, Emma, get on oh, in here. Come on Emerson. in Our birthday. Girl. Birthday girl. Pride Cup as well, you've won the game. How's it feel and what's the history behind it? So you were the first captain of the women's team here as well as helping establish the club in the first place. Look, I live and breathe the club. Uh, my dad's vice pres, my brother's now um, the captain of our senior men's team. So uh, it's basically like my family down here. And what do we reckon, that top six? I know it's only after round six, but do you think they're the ones for finals? Well, that's it for our top five moments this week, thanks to Anytime Fitness. Well, that's what it's all about. Well, thank you very much for joining us, Michelle and Courtney, and good luck with next week's game. Congratulations on the milestone again, and thanks for the chat. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. Awesome. Well, enjoy the celebrations, and congratulations on the first win of the season. Thank you very much. Thank you. Until then, get your game face on.